good people welcome back to this back and at me how you doing how you been at this 2013 4 edge uh checking your lights on uh it feels uh it's limping you know what i'm saying and i think it's cylinder sits so we're gonna check that out all right all right so i just connect the scanner uh it goes over there right here okay right below the uh, steering wheel there you go. What does it say? P0306 cylinder sits misfire and detected. Cylinder sits misfire. That's pretty much it. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right. Come on. All right. This is the 2011, right? 2013 is the um, first generation. So let me tell you this. If you have a car between 2007 and 2014, then this video is for you. Right? So stay tuned. See, this generation has a facelift. So it's between between, between 2007 and 2010. It's the first generation, right? But 2011 and 2014 is still the first generation, but facelift. Right? Still, though. If you have the car between 2007 and 2014, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to fix the PO306. All right. So stay tuned. Shout outs to everybody in the building. All right. Thank you for support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, uh, shout outs to the haters too. I love you. Psych. Um, oh, uh, thank you for the support though. Your support contribute to uh, get better equipment to uh, film you know tripod accessories uh, microphone stuff like that you know what I'm saying it make the job uh, easier you know what I'm saying I don't have to focus too much on the camera and all that because you guys support that you know what I'm saying you guys contribute to uh, get better equipment which I appreciate and most of it is for you because with a better camera you get to better in tight places you know what I'm saying with a microphone you can hear me better and all that you know what I'm saying appreciate the support shout outs to everybody right, from Japan to Thailand Taiwan uh, India Brazil Argentina Chile the States Mexico uh, Canada Greenland Italy Germany everybody in the building all right I'm not gonna hold you up let's do this come on Here's the bolt that you gotta lose, the nut, 8 millimeter. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so the order is like one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a cylinder number six. We're gonna do a cylinder number six because the computer is giving you the code, travel code, P0306. And right below says cylinder six misfiring, right? This is cylinder six, it's misfiring. We're gonna replace the coil. All right. We can do the connector first. Push it up, the red thing. This red thing. Push it up like that. Press it here. Come on. Eight millimeter right here. Eight millimeter socket. We can move this. We're gonna replace the coil. I give you the part number in a second. This is the new, the new guy. Push it. 
Yeah. You're good. Now what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna erase the trouble code. I'm gonna drive it, come back and put everything back. If everything goes with the plan, you know what I'm saying? So okay, we're gonna connect the scanner again. Let's just scan it going on. I'm gonna click on this twice. Okay. Scan it is really the car. Okay, PO306, right? We're gonna delete it, we're gonna erase it. Yes. Let's see if it comes back. I don't think it's gonna come back. Okay, that's permanent though. Let's just start the car. Hopefully we don't have a, a engine light on. Yeah, we don't see the engine light on with Gucci. So that should do it. If it's a uh, bad uh, coil or, or uh, bad spark plug, okay? But check this out though. If that doesn't fix it, check this out though. If you come here and pay attention to the codes, you will see that it give you this PO206 injector circuit open cylinder seats. So right there, my friends. The scanner is pinpointing the problem. So the next guy is the injector, fuel injector. We're gonna have to remove the intake and all that just to uh, make the rail, fuel rail, give us some leverage to remove, uh, replace that uh, injector in cylinder number six. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that. I'm probably gonna like do it in a separate separate video. Maybe the same one. Maybe the same one. Why not? Yeah. What you think? Put it in the comment box. Let me know. I like your boy. If you change the spark plugs in the coil and you still have the same uh, trouble code, PO306, PO206, 206, PO206 is for the uh, injector, fuel injector for cylinder sets. If you still have the problem and you have that trouble called PO206, then uh, it's time to uh, change that fuel injector, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you that. Uh, support the channel, subscribe, like, share, comment, anything you wanna say about this project, this code, this channel, everything, anything, put it in the comment box, all right? Let me know how you feel. I take it all, all right? I take it all. To be some sarcastic, hey, all, all that. I take all that, put it in the comment box. Okay, let's do this. Come on. If you want to support the channel down there, there's a super tense button. Click, click on that, go through it, show your love. You know what I'm saying, pretty much, yeah. Hey, let me tell you this though. The support that you give to this channel goes towards the uh, uh, purchase of equipment, better equipment like camera, microphone, tripod, camera accessories, and all that. You know what I'm saying so you can have a better view, so you can have a better view, and tools also. But most of it is for equipment like video equipment. You know what I'm saying so. I hope you enjoyed this video, like I do. So let's get it. All right, let's do it. All right, before we go crazy, I'm just gonna disconnect the battery. <coughs> let's do the power side. Okay. Like this here, just in case. Now I'm saying. Eight millimeter for the clamps. Right. 
there's a connector to uh, this holes. Be careful. It's right here. Let's see. Let's see. It. And there's another pulse over here. Hi, can you see it? This one. You can do it from here. All you gotta do is push this. You know what I'm saying? And then pull it. Here's when the WD-40 uh, do the thing, you know what I'm saying? The thing. that holds this thing so right here I'm just losing this so you have one of that's just this one okay so here there's a connector it's been at the it's been on the throttle I'm going to start doing the 8 millimeter that I hold the intake. Now, uh, I'm gonna do this, this holes right here. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do this one on top. I'm sorry for the camera though. This one. That one over there, in the back. That one. Okay, we gotta do those too. Those are hoses. So don't worry about it. This is another one bowl that uh, it's right below the uh, throttle. Okay. Right, right over here. You can see it through here. Right below the throttle. All right. Here's the rail. This is the rail right here. Alright, so I'm gonna do this uh, the rail. And over here. If you want, you can put a rag over here so you don't drop anything.
pull it up like that, just like that. Try to do it even, right? There you go. This thing's gonna hold the uh, the injector. Here's the rev. Alright. Yeah. So I got the new um Uh, we're just gonna grease it, put it back in the rail. Ah, uh, the new one. All right. I'm just gonna use a uh, WD-40. Just gonna put it like this.
tied in a snuggie. Put everything back. That's pretty much it. Actually, it's like 89 uh, inch, pound inch, no wait, foot inch, foot inch, foot inch, uh, 89 foot inch, usually with these uh, bolts. Start connecting everything back, alright. So once I replace everything, I put everything back. Uh, I connect the scanner again. It's down there. Connect the scanner. Uh, click on this twice. Now you're gonna get the same thing. I just erase it. Yeah. I erase it. Scan it again. Okay. It seems like it raised by itself uh, when I uh, change the the fuel injector. I'm gonna turn this off. Then I'm gonna start the car. It feels way better now. It's not shaking or nothing like that. I'm gonna have to road test it and see if uh, the, the, the check engine light goes on again. So I'm gonna road test it. All right.